I get this hand on my back just pushing me out. Out of the corner of my eye, those black figures just walking across. Hi, Heather Klizak, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Heather. Nice to meet you. Welcome to Martinsville Soap Works. I started making soap 12 years ago, well, 13 years ago actually, now that it's 2015. Um, I moved on to Webster Street in December of 2013. Um, all the soaps, the Bath and Body products, and the soy candles, they're all made right here in the store. I make them all. And then there's about a dozen different local artisans that have their things here as well. So you have been having some odd experiences here in the store since you moved in, in last year? It started right before we opened, right after they put it, because it was a total gut on the building. It was a $125,000 renovation. It was partly funded by Lumber City Development Corporation here in North Tomawanda. And right after they put the front on the building, we got in here because we only had six days between then and when we opened. So there had already been a lot of construction going on. And once I started, I was here more then I started seeing strange things. I started seeing shadow people walking across the back and nobody else really saw anything. And then the biggest thing that happened was I got pushed up the basement stairs the first time I went down into the basement. Oh, wow. And it was a hand like that right on the back, on, on my back. It was aggressive. Mm -hmm. It was definitely aggressive. When was the last time you guys have actually had an experience? Here? Oh, I actually saw something white out of the corner of my eye yesterday. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So since that time, it's not like it's dying down or anything. It's it still... kind of comes and goes. When there's more people in the store, I see more stuff. I generally don't go down in the basement. You know, after you know, after yeah, being attacked like that, I, I was like, nah, I, I send other people down to get stuff for me. Yeah. Attacked. The times that I have been down there, I can feel, you know, that prickly on the back of your neck feeling that you get when you're being watched. I get that downstairs a lot. Can you just take us a, a little walk through and just show us some of the experiences you had and, and where they happened? Oh, sure, absolutely. This is where I work most of the time, and I'll see shadow people just out of the corner of my eye, those black figures just walking across, and I'll just be like, oh, hi. And this is during the day? This is during the day. I'm usually here during the day. It's usually not at night. I have had one other person um, see them too. It happens, it happens frequently. Actually, it happened as recently as yesterday. I was coming out of the bathroom, and just, I see this white thing like out of the corner of my eye, and I'm here by myself. get up to the third, the, the second stair from the top, and I get this hand on my back just pushing me out. I can feel him watching me, and it doesn't like me down here. Well, it sounds like you got a lot going on here, Heather. Um, we're gonna come back in a couple hours, get the team together, debrief them on, on what we need to do here for the investigation tonight, and we'll meet you back here later in the night. Okay, great, sounds right. awesome. Thanks right. so much. Thanks, it's a pleasure meeting you. Nice meeting both of you, too. Right off the bat, the first thing that comes out, uh, older woman, almost feels connected to this building, this place right here, very overprotective, overlooking the place. I get the name Effie. That was, that's a former owner, a past okay. owner. Yeah. Being called this way, is that okay if I sure. go ahead and walk sure. together? <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Always the number one spot. I can tell right from this point that 
whomever's down here is very aggressive. Very in your face. Yeah. Has no problem with letting, I'm gonna say him, with letting you know that he's here. Very like this, very pushy, pushy, very forward. I got to here and it I feel like you get a lot and it, it doesn't necessarily it's connected to you it's not necessarily connected to a family member of yours but I think it's the history of the building and I think it's a revolving door hello hello hey Ash so okay so you had a chance to walk through the Martinsville soap works factory yes initially when I walked in first person to greet me was an older lady named Effie Effie? Effie. Effie Ava. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, this used to be um, Ava's Place Bar, and that was the owner. And this lady's name was Effie? The owner's name was Effie, and she passed away in uh, 2013. But she, this was her place. I mean, this, her and her family ran this place for quite a long time. Okay. It was a staple in North Tonawanda, actually. Everybody hung out there. Home run, Ashley. Um, also, I was attracted to the basement right away. Okay. That was a whole different feeling. Um, very uncomfortable feeling, actually. If I had to choose, it was definitely a male. Um, very in your face, very pushy. Yeah. Like, literally, would probably push you. W what push did you. she go through and tell you her experience that she, happened over in the basement? She did. She said she doesn't hardly ever go in the basement. Yeah. Um, well, when, I had stopped, when I had stopped in here to pass the flyers out for our event, that's what she immediately told me. That's why she wanted us to come in here. You know, I was just outside here with Dan, waiting for you to get done. We were looking at the, the building itself. And from brick to brick, I mean, we're looking at uh, not just really the Martinsville Soap Works factory itself, but um, the, the spiritually rooted uh, place right here. And uh, I, I don't know, do you guys want to just take a walk in there and see if we can talk to the owner and see if she might have had any experiences as well? Sure. Okay. Sure. Okay. Hello. Hi there, how are you? I'm doing good, how are you? Good. I'm Cameron. Hi, I'm Pam. Nice uh, to meet you. Pam, nice to meet you. Uh, we're actually, with the Greater Western New York Paranormal yeah. Society. Hi. Nice to hey, meet nice you. To meet and uh, we were actually next door, we're filming with, with Heather at oh, the okay. Marginal yeah. Soap Works. She's been having some experiences going on. I've heard. Uh, you have? So yes. you do know Heather? Yeah, door? I know Heather and actually I follow you guys on Facebook Okay, as well, so you so. know who we are. Yeah, so that's, that's kind really of cool, cool that you're here. <laughs> so uh, we were just looking outside, looking at the building, and uh, obviously this is, looks like one structure. You guys are in the same what would have been an old time building right. and it's now separated into two different businesses. Right. Now, uh, how long have you guys been here? We've been here for three years. Three years? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, uh, she's been here for a little bit over a year, mm -hmm. you know, since 2013. Um, and so she's been having experiences. Have you guys ever had any? I mean, obviously, if you guys are doing psychic readings here and stuff, yeah. this is a this is a more of a, you know... A, We're kind of used to that. You know, a rhetorical <laughs> question, but, sure. you know, you guys ha obviously have you know, communication lines opened up here in your, in your line of business. Well, when I first moved in, when I was in moving things into the basement, um, I actually encountered a gentleman that's down there. Um, and okay. our staff has encountered him like a ton. But as far as doing readings, I mean, they're just our um, locals, I guess, or whoever yeah. we're doing the reading for. And then, um, you know, and our customers are here, but we smudge really well every day at the store. Okay. Sometimes multiple times a day. Um, okay. Just to make sure that everybody, all the good energy is kept in. Yeah, <laughs> no, absolutely. You do a consistency. That's, that's yes. what we found that the way yeah. it works the best. I yep. mean, it's not just one time fix all. It's, a, it's a more consistent. Yep. Right yeah, there. we got a little, you know, I mean, we do it every day. Sometimes multiple times throughout the day, depending on yeah. what's going on. Great. You know, I mean, so now this guy in the basement you were talking about there, now, did Heather told you she felt a male presence in her basement too, right? Yeah, but hers, she said, was aggressive. I don't know. You know what? I've never done any investigating or anything like that or even tapping in over there. Our staff has experienced things where, you know, one person was down there with a piece of paper and they dropped it and she just heard, you dropped something. Okay, so and you then, guys are hearing like voice phenomena yeah, down there too. Yeah, and she just darted up here and then didn't go back down. Um, um, but Ashley, yeah. Ashley's a, a second medium as well. Uh, do, you, do you mind if you, we that go downstairs and try to... Sure. Now we're, we're walking back towards this end right. of this area. Now this is where you've been encountering this male? Right. Right in this back corner here is where the first time that I ever encountered him. This this, this a, can we walk right back? Okay.
Um, it, it really looks like this is like part of the storage area that nobody goes. What yeah. is this over here? This is like a little door or something. Yeah, I mean these things are all connected. Just like there's another door in the back there that's board, that's um, cinder blocked up that used to go to the other um, store. Across. So so basically, when we're saying from the outside that this is, you know, originally it was built as one location. These basins were connected as the one basins point were too. connected. Yes. So the male presence, I mean, might could be possibly the same guy. So maybe we it could be. We might need to look into that as well. She I mean, might be perceiving it different than she is because she's. You know. I'm yeah. pretty comfortable with them. Yeah, yeah and, and uh, even our staff is pretty comfortable because it's kind of what we did. When she was encountered with it, with the, the the pushing, it was when she first moved in too. Yeah, and, so. and I encountered her when I first moved in. That was okay. the first time. You know, I was down in the basement by myself, and I was like, "Oh, hello," and I just talked to him, and you know, I just was told that he owned the building, and. That was it. He's never, like I said, we had our old staff, though, didn't like to come down here by themselves. Yeah. They would always come down two by two. <laughs> um, this staff, though, they know he's here. They'll kind of actually come down jokingly and say, I got to work down here for a few hours. Don't mess with me. So, I mean, they actually kind of engage him. The employees that are getting this, like, feeling, you know, when they mm -hmm. come down here, because I can tell, I mean, if you just look around, you have storage everywhere, but this particular it area is completely not, vacant. It was not intentional. And nobody's, like... <laughs> it really wasn't. Yeah. And I don't know why it's other than... Walk. Well, well I mean, yeah. I'll, I mean, if I mean, if yeah. anybody just comes down here and they get a bad presence, they're like, oh, you know, I'll, you know, I'll just put this box over here instead, you know. <laughs> and it's, it's really, it really kind of just goes away, right? And it's so. funny because I'm the one that put the stuff that's here. The yeah. staff never even went as far as here, and I don't, not that I don't like going, but I don't like going over here. Um, but it's funny though, even these benches that were built for whatever reason stopped here. Yeah, right. right they here. didn't. Go Uh, this area has been like kind of reserved for this guy. It's almost like giving him credence to be here. It's like a, this is his place. Also, we have two cats that live in the store, and sometimes you will see them kind of staring at something, and you know, but not in the rain store. It's always from the back on, or in the bathroom, or down here. Okay. But, yeah, but it seems like he doesn't go past that, and, and you know, to be honest, we don't smudge past there. I don't know why we just. I mean, because we smudge the retail space. We never smudge down here. We've never smudged. There. So. Now, if you think of this lo this this building as one big house, I mean, we we're talking about if we're going through a smudging process, you know, uh, really it's kind of like just just smudging the living room, and right. you know, they right. might well, be just walking of, yeah. over into Absolutely. the family room where Which is you right know Heather's the, selling exactly. soap, and exactly. uh, she's just seeing them pass through all day, and she's like, there's nothing malicious going on there. It's almost like they're they're like wandering through, like they're kind of lost for a minute there, you know what I mean? Because you know, you're having the smudging, and then they're being pushed out, you know, to the next part of the house right so right um you know maybe it would be a, a wise process to might maybe like include her in a smudging at the end of a day or maybe once a week do you think that might yeah be i don't option? know she's not i mean you know what it's funny because she brought up that she was that she had called you guys okay and, and i don't even think she said who she just said she called somebody and you know we didn't even think anything of it to say like gee we could smudge for you or anything like that like yeah. it didn't even do you know what i mean like we just didn't even that's kind of bad that we didn't but we just you know, and like well, I said, that's what we, we do. We bring, we bring people together. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> It was called the East Shank Drinkery. East Shank. Yes, the East yes. Shank Drinkery. So, and uh, the owner, Heather, has been saying that, um, especially downstairs, she's been getting like a lot of aggressive mm -hmm. from, like, activity, like somebody's pushed her up the stairs. And we think that's basically because, you know, it was just men that came here. There was no women, so they're kind of territorial and don't want her here. So yeah. I think we should kind of check this out. I think we'll check out the shop first and see what kind of uh, activity we find up here. Um, she's basically been seeing a lot of shadow figures, people walking in the back, she just kind of sees it out of the corner of her eye. Mm -hmm. um, so we had the guys set up the laser grid. So why don't we just kind of see what's going on and uh, see what we catch. All right, okay. sounds good. All right. Well, why don't we go back here where the activity was? That'd be a good place, I think, to set up shop and just see. So we've got the laser grid. So if something walks by, we're gonna see spiking over to spiking over here. It seems like it's by all the merchandise. 
That's weird. Okay, what would you like to do first? Should we do EVP or do you want to try the obelisk? Let's try the obelisk first. Right, let's turn that on. And this, just to go over this real quickly, um, it's pretty going up. Should. Should. Okay. It's preloaded with about 2,000 words, and the theory behind it is that each word has a specific energy level attached to it, so a spirit can come and manipulate that energy to make the word that they want to say to us come across. So we're going to see. Um, is there anyone here with us that would like to come through? Is, that, is that going over? Is that, yeah, is that, this is... Um, so 2.5. Was that steady like that before when you walked over here? No. Nope. It almost feels like that something's there's some some energy through here. Well, this is where she so she sees them walking out yeah, of her, it's her like eye. Coming and going. We don't want to bother you or harm you in any way. We just want to know that you're here. If you're here with us, while she's holding it, make the lights go off. Or if you don't want to hear me, I'll set it down. <laughs> Let us know how you died. Let us know why you still come here. Are you the one that pushed Heather up the stairs? Yeah. That's solid. That's just solid. Who's here with us right now? What's your name? It's just staying. I mean, is it literally... It's just solid now. Oh my gosh. What did that say? Think. Think. Think about what? I don't know if it was just the laser or something, but I swear to God, I just saw somebody duck behind that, like, monitor, the TV monitor. It looked like somebody just went... Guys, we were talking to Pam, and she said that her and her employees have confirmed that there was some sort of male spirit down here. Um, she gave us the ability to come down here and actually investigate. Um, and this is attached, obviously, with the uh, Martinsville Soap Works. Uh, we really want to see what, if this might be the same guy. The whole, there's not like any spot that's not utilized until you get back there and it's completely vacant. You know what I'm saying? So. Uh, it's almost like they built a little spot for this spirit. So let's try to walk right in this like home and see if we can communicate. All right. Okay. Yep. All right. This is the area where they have been feeling this male energy uh, present here. Uh, how do you want to start the investigation? Yeah. Spirit box. You want to just start off with a spirit box and if we can open up. Yeah. So open up a line of communication. See what we can do. Yeah, so the spirit box session here in the basement at the spiritually rooted. As soon as we turned around, a man just started talking and talking and talking. Yeah. Are, you, are you 
Are you having trouble crossing over to the other side? trying to move that now. Move it. The screw. The big screw. The drywall screw. You almost got it. Try again. Move that screw. Push your energy towards this way. I can't. I can't. Use mine. And the spikes coming. Every time you ask him to move something. He's trying. What about that staple? It's a little smaller. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm getting jealous. feel like this is I was gonna say I felt a lot on the stairs yeah oh absolutely agree a lot on the stairs and actually as we started now I haven't been in the back I told as her, I started yeah. to come through here I actually felt lighter than I did on the stairs on my walk through I got to about this the third the third stair and I kind of went oh okay all right all right strange is I'm actually picking up a young child. Um, it has nothing to do with this place, per se, as far as like historical thing. No, <laughs> not at all. It's, it's not from here. It's from the child? Yeah. Because you're getting the child too? Yeah. Because okay. I'm getting a child. But it's, I mean, it feels like it's not. I expected <coughs> to turn this corner and see a kid going. <laughs> I just, I felt the child like really strongly. Um, and I'm hearing the child say, yeah, the rest are here, but, um, but it's a happy child, though. Like, it's not, <sighs> she may even be, um, a non-Caucasian woman. I'm not going to say what her nationality is, but her skin is dark, but not like African American dark. Maybe she's of mixed ethnicity. And, uh. She was wearing a gray dress and it's long and she has a white apron like she performs um, like household tasks. You know, I don't think she works in a restaurant or anything but it might be like a hospital or a, um, some kind of a, uh, a place. Okay, when you're saying that I got like as soon as you said hospital I got like a mm. orphanage. I feel like more like that, like something, but I want to know what was here before. Yeah, I have no idea. I'm not from I here. Don't know. I don't know. Either. See, everything that I get down here is not like to the structure, it's to the land. Yes. yes. And when it's I envision him, I envision him. Like, yes. that's it. Yeah, that's, yes. Yeah. But like yeah, that. yeah, yes. But I the would first agree. account to when I came down here, uh -huh. it's very aggressive. Cause you don't know who I am, right? But to, to him, he's, he's, he's got to push first, and right. then he gets yeah. your feel, Respect and then it's a, me. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, me. like I'm aggressive to respect. first, yeah. but it's that I just see him flipping the collar, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that's how I saw him like standing, that. like, right? Yeah, yeah. But I feel like this was like a good, like whatever he was doing was good, but he didn't want people to necessarily know. Yeah, right. There's no, a, I agree with that. A girl yeah, and two boys. And yeah, I can. I mean, I yeah. And I don't feel anything sinister. And like I said, when I ask about alcohol, obviously I know that this used to be a bar. Right. Um, when I ask about alcohol, I get oh no. No. no, no, no. And I agree with you that it was before that. Yeah. Because again, it's just the land, the land, the land. Yes. What's yeah. happened, it's structure. Something that's happened here before prior this, to this building. building. When I ask about Heather, like upstairs, mm -hmm. I'm like, I need to introduce her. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I feel like I just need to introduce her to him and even the, maybe even some of these kids. But that, I think, was the initial concern for Heather, was the yeah. meeting, the coming down I here. Think and that one time, I think she needs to meet him was not a good one. No. And she just 
took it wrong, right. if you will. Because I feel like he's sort of like, hello. You yeah. know? Like, yeah. And if you yeah. don't push him back, right. he's gonna, you're going to fear him. But he it's really is absolutely yeah. nothing to fear. He's sort of like, hello. Do you know how long you've been here? Nothing to fear. Do you know why we're here? Is there any little kids trying to talk to us? We heard there was some of you around here. Yeah. yeah. What's strange is I'm actually picking up a young child. Do you want to come and play with us and talk to us? Yes. Absolutely yes, yep. Bunch of yeses and yeps all in the room. What's your favorite game to play? How about hide and seek? We'll go hide and you try to come find us. Hey. Hey. Or we could play duck, duck, goose and you could tap one of us on the shoulder. There you go. You be it first. Can you just fill us in on what you were able to pick up down there? I picked up children initially, um, uh, one child in particular on a tricycle, and then um, the information that I was getting was all coming from the child about the man that you've talked to, but has nothing to do with this physical building, has to do with the land. Were you ladies picking up children as well? I did. I, but I, there was a girl, she was like between 10 and 12 years old, she was about that tall. And there were two boys that were like stair steps. They were really close in age, but much younger than her. Like seven and eight, six and four. Really? You two? I didn't pick up kids. You didn't pick up I, the kids? I was on the man, yeah. on the man the whole time from the time I got here. I wanted to figure him out. I wanted to figure out why it was so uncomfortable for you and why it was uncomfortable for me just initially going down in mm -hmm. there. But we all did come to the conclusion. We all pretty much agree on the man, you know, yeah. how he is, what is yeah. his what he's like, what, up to what he wears, up to why he's here. It has nothing to do with this building. It's the land, 100%. Have you, have you ever had experiences with, with children? Um... It's funny that you mentioned that because when my daughter and I were here earlier and everybody else was gone, she heard a child in the back of the store. And then maybe- This is today? Today, yeah, like a couple hours ago. 
Okay. Let's go yeah. back to the prominent man who's down there who we believe <clears throat> you pushed you out of this place. We believe he was telling you to get out, right? Is that so, I mean, as far as when you guys are picking up this man, were you picking up anything negative from this guy or anything yeah, like that? I must, he's proud. He's just a proud man and he just wants acknowledgement because he's not here to do anything detrimental to you. Mm-hmm. He's not here, he's not wishing you out. <laughs> My sense of, of how he presented himself is just he just wants some respect. Just a little, pay me a little respect, give me a how do you do, and then we'll be fine. Yeah. Acknowledge okay. that I'm here. Like what I said in the, in the basement is like, we just need to introduce him. Yeah. Like, yeah. say, hi, this is Heather. She needs to work here. This is her livelihood. What do you think about the people that work upstairs? We have a, an adult male, adult female, and we have children. Right. And, and whether they're relation or not, they're almost coexisting like in this area, you know, with each other. Mm-hmm. So that, that's the sense that I get. That when the kids come, it's like Uncle yeah. Dave, or you yeah. know, there's yeah. no blood relation. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You ready to go downstairs in the basement? Sure. Heather, what's your initial feelings coming back down here at, uh, right now? It's better. You feel like things it's, are a little it's, bit better? Yeah, it's better down here. Okay. Because, uh, I mean, really, they haven't really done anything yet but just acknowledge this guy's presence. And it seems like he's kind of cool with that, right? He's backing off a little bit from his, he's not, yeah, he's not I, malicious yeah. in any way. And he's not, you know, trying to, you know, be territorial or anything like that. He's willing to share, I guess. Somebody just needed to acknowledge his presence. Mm-hmm. And you know, I, I get a sense that you know, even though he is that stern person, he does have that soft side to him. He's made that really clear. In, in the people that he supports, the children and the, and the, the woman. Have you ever thought about giving him a gift? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like setting up a little space and just tossing him something to, well, you know. What I just heard when you were there. saying that, what I heard is that actually he wants you to succeed. Yeah. And actually he could help you draw people in like I, I mean I know that that sounds crazy but I listen this all sounds crazy but I mean like it like I feel like he actually would help you well if you're going you know back I mean? like, to I feel like when she you. was talking about the the uh, Afri- african-american woman yeah this woman was somebody who was in need of help right and this guy had a warm enough it's, heart to bring yeah. her in to help her succeed and I think that what they're trying to tell you is that he's willing to do that for you too like I said this isn't the the children the, the woman and the man, they're living here like a family, and I think they're really willing to let you be part of that family, too. When you started that, I just heard thank you. And I feel like it's almost a thank you that you brought these folks here to acknowledge him. Do you know what I mean? Like, I feel like yeah. a, a gratitude from him. Because like, when you started talking, I heard, thank yeah. you. It's it just that, that simple acknowledgement, let's all be family. He's, a, he's agreeable to that. And he's a, he's a good guy. Yeah, he really, he is. really is. We have this this big old building, and we have two new companies, new businesses that are thriving inside of this building together. And really, this is like an opportunity for you guys to come together and really uh, make your neighbors family. Yeah. You know, and call on us if you, if, you, if truthfully any one of us next door. If you're going, you just come and say, hey, look. Bring the sage, bring a prayer, bring some holy water, you know? Another, not everybody's got somebody right next door. I mean, I bet when you woke up this morning, this isn't the way you think it would end. It, no. This is much more positive. No. Oh, yeah. Of a solution. Yeah. And you have help, not only from the community, but your neighbors as yeah. well. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you got all the support here. Yeah. And I think even the spirits that are here are willing to support you, too. Because, you, yes. like, when we were talking before, I mean, your, your business is who you are. You've brought yeah. your family history. Everybody in your life that's made you who you are yeah. is made, also made this business what it is. And that's something that, you know, obviously is a very respectful from outside looking in. You know, you deserve a lot of credit. And, if, you know, we can all see it. And I'm sure that these people down here can see that. all the hard work and all the love and care that goes into your, in both your businesses. So I don't think you guys got much to worry about from here. But, uh, you know, there is ghosts, but you guys can coexist. Right? Yeah, and I, 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 they don't have to go. I would never, if they're comfortable here, if this is their home too, I wouldn't. Yeah. I wouldn't make them go. You guys have very positive spirits here, and you know it's almost in good fortune for all for all you guys involved. So 
Um, you know, I wish you guys the best of luck moving thank you forward very much. with your. Yeah, your thank you so businesses. much. Absolutely, it was very nice meeting you, ladies. And I hope that uh, we're going to leave you in a better place. You know, a little bit closer now. You know, not that the wall was too far away, but you know, good. All right, all right, ladies. All right. Thank you. Thanks.